dear friends, today we will share our thoughts and education in ancient India. There is a great concept called Gurukala. Guru means darkness. Guru means dispelling the darkness. Kula means family. Even kings used to send their sons to educate their sons to Gurukulas where they live with Kamas and such Gurukulas are usually headed by relations and sponsored by kings. It's a very good concept. Education means to draw out the intelligence. Intelligence is the function of being. Mind expresses the intelligence. So it is just a vehicle. Mind is not intelligent. That is very, very important. Because nowadays, the more emphasis is given to mind and being is almost forgotten. Nobody in education is giving an importance or not, or not aware even that drawing out the intelligence is important and intelligence is the function of being. Many people still feel that intelligence means inculcating more memory. Memory is mechanical. Uh, I remember a story, uh, a very nice story. I always like it. There is a king, Hiranyakasipa. He is an object oriented king. He is a very learned man. He is almost a scientist, a physicist. So he is object oriented. He doesn't know anything about uh, inner world. He doesn't accept that there is an inner world at all. But he sent his son Prahlada. Prahlada. to Gurukula. And that is headed very really so. Somehow, unfortunately for Freddy uh, Gasiba, this uh, Prahlada got self-realized at very early age. And uh, he behaved in a different manner. He could not adjust to the corrupt society. And uh, the king is surprised by the behavior of his son. It is this nonsense. He is uh, expected to be the next king, and he is behaving like this, always devoted, singing. What is this nonsense? And uh, he asked Prahlada, you are saying that there is God, and if you show God in an objective way, definitely I will accept your God. Prahlada replied, Father, how can I show a subtle, all pervasive power which is present 
and all beings including you is an objective it is your very subjectivity the subjectivity of every being and everything is godliness and how can i show you in a in an objective way so you are question your very questioning is wrong he said and uh, his father is very much annoyed what nonsense you are telling i know all uh, scriptures all senses nobody mentions like this but nonsense you are talking he said but uh, probably the already christian self and uh, he can't tell it he self like ramana maharshi and maharshi self all pervasive self what to do he cannot act like an individual he cannot act like an individual personality he self all pervasive but why is that so same and there is similarities between bhagwan sri ramana maharshi and prahla uh, the father has so many difficulties to his sons to his son uh, prahla to make him somehow tune to his uh, thinking that there is no god because in their clan there is no god there is no concept of god nor godliness what is their concept but prahlad is realized he self so in ancient india three dimensions in education are given importance in gurukula one known known means that which is related to memory you can recognize it you can recognize what you know you cannot recognize what you do not know simple so they used to teach all the subjects that come under this category and there is another dimension unknown unknown can be turned into known by science that is the function of science einstein and so many secrets of nature from unknown to known it's a function of science so unknown can be known but there is another dimension unknowable that is third dimension yeah you have to sacrifice the mind to experience the unknowable you can participate in it you can experience in it you can dance with it but you cannot know it You cannot possess it. It is like a river. It is, the truth is like a flowing river. You can flow with the river, but you cannot possess the river. So, in ancient India, all the three dimensions are touched 
and uh, education is comprehensive in those days and more importance is given to unknowable because once you know your nature then anything you learn is good for the whole universe and to yourself also but if you are self ignorant the technology in your hands is more dangerous because you do not know how to use it the scientists are there suppose einstein is there what happened that and bomb is due to him and all the main inventors that and bomb is due to him and finally it landed in the politician's hand so self ignorant if technologically superior is more dangerous to society so what one must have self knowledge self knowledge is very much given more importance in ancient indian system of gurukula that is an excellent concept somehow uh the glory is lost for the past 2000 years they became poor invaded by so many ruffians uh so many factors and uh, that gurukulas out uh, are not seen in the recent days uh education as a service is tried by some gurus so called gurus i can say they are self ignorant gurus and they have not tested self and so they do not know how to guide the students so they give more important importance to the information than the transformation of the student information is not at all important transformation is important how you see the world is important so education main function is self knowledge first all the things come later jk sri jiti krishna murthy had two schools one in varanasi and uh, in south in madanapalli he gave more importance to self knowledge than than uh, stuffing the uh, students with information so his concept is good he emphasizes more on meditation self inquiry relationship importance of relationship good student teacher relationship etc we will discuss the the rest of the things in the second part